guys, welcome Dragon King here. Okay, so today I'm extremely happy to do this video uh, because what you see before you is very hard work of me and my friend for the past two days solid. Uh, we've been working extremely hard uh, building all this. It's been quite quite an extent of, of hours and it's you know very tasking, but. Um, I won't go through all the details of everything that we've built just yet. Uh, I want to go through something that I've really put a lot of effort into, and that's this skull and the temple over there. Okay, so basically, I've created like a little adventure inside that skull. I don't know if you can see, but I'm the Dover Kin, you know, Dragonborn. Where's my helmet? Let me take it off. It's on my chest. <laughs> So if you can see, I'm meant to be the Dragonborn, but it's far too pixelated to probably see. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go on full iron armor uh, to go on a little adventure to get some stuff. All right, so basically, next episode, I'll go through the details more of this tower uh, and this castle. Uh, well, a great, great archway into our town that we're busy slowly building up. Like I say, we've only been doing this for two days. But this skull and temple and that has been like about 95% solid my work. Uh, so I really w can't wait to go through this with you guys. So, so I'll take fly mode off. <laughs> See, it looks too epic. And we're going to go on to the adventure. Alright, so of, of course we always first person view as David Kin. So it is time for our adventure. Right, so it's time for our adventure. So, like I said before, the grey beards have told me uh, to get the to get the uh, equipment I need to defeat Alduin. I need to appease the god of fire. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly how to do that, but I've been told he's in the Great Skull Mountain. Is the 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 way to find him and the way to uh, appease him. So. So going through all our great arch. Okay, so see, I travel from Thros to the world. I'm here. I stayed here for the night, and I'm going in the the Great School Mountain. Cry one size crying water, one size crying lava. I'm not sure why exactly, uh, but the, there must be a reason to it. Okay, obviously this temple was built many 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 years ago uh, as you can just tell by the walls okay so what's this see on the guard take these items all right so there's two buckets so the god of fire i'm assuming that is so i've got to appease him to honor him with these okay so what's this seek the element of life all right so The element of life. There should be no prizes for guessing what that is. Alright, so I delved quite deep. Well, not super deep. I'm not. Well, a little bit deep down. So I got given two buckets to appease the god of life. Well, so let's see. The element of life. It's a nice watery room. Alright, so I assume the bucket is to collect the water here. Alright, so I have one full bucket of water. Okay, seek the element of destruction. Alright, so what are these to do with getting my gear to defeat Alduin? Where are we going? Oh, ladders. Okay, up's a good sign because the temple is quite high up, so we need to be going up. Alright, so where are we now? Oh, here we are. This is pure room of death. No one's favourite, but I assume fire, lava is the element of destruction 
Alright. Nope, that is again. Oh, good sign. Not very high up. Give the two elements to the god of fire. Okay, so I've got the two elements. Cheeky little ladders everywhere. Oh, what's this? Ah, nice little viewing area. So I can think about the epic adventures that I've done in the past and I'm about to do in the future. But this is the school's nostril, so technically I'm like a little bogey just running around with buckets. Alright, let's keep going up. We need to go up for our adventure. Okay, so again, everything's been about fire and and water is pretty cool pretty cool but even the castles uh taken you know homage to this this uh ancient skull ah shit i'm dying i'm dying i have nothing to save me oh no water ah. should have thought of that earlier <laughs> damn you all right so let's keep going up Right, so little safety. I got my sword out now. Plenty of torches around. Don't need mine. Okay, we're getting close. What's this? Great sacrifice. Great sacrificial peak to the right. Okay, what's this? Oh, another ladder. I assume this is the peak. Okay, cool. So. Either you can drown your people or your, or your victims, or you can burn them to death. So that's how you can sacrifice people. And that's an extremely nice view. I think I'm about half the way up of Throat of the World. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Right. Let's go, let's go sort the God of Fire out. Let's go get my shit. I need... I need to go phone some, some dragons. What's this? The God of Fire awaits your gift. My gift? I hope that he means my elements. <laughs> the two elements I just collected. This is a very dangerous bridge. But them sturdy columns look like they'll hold me. Dovakin, Dovakin. What's this? Honor the God of Fire to the right. Element of life. Element of destruction. So, I assume I shall place you there. And I assume I will place you there. Will I fill it out? There we go. Now what? Ah. Oh, this is old. Very old. The God of Fire reward you. Yeah! Diamond sword, bow and arrow. Is that it? Is that all I deserve? Oh, another chest. Full diamond gear. Let me get geared out. This is my dragon slaying. Dragon slaying boss mode gear. Yes! Come on, Alduin. I am ready for thee. Your bitch ass. I can stealth mode it. With my arrows. No messing about. I only had one arrow. What? What the hell was I meant to do with one arrow? It's gone now. Yeah, but I did it. I did it. Right, so, okay guys, so that's the great adventure done. That's my, the amazing adventure to uh, pay homage to the God of Fire and get the gear the Greybeards told me to get. Okay guys, um, just got rid of all my gear. So if you did like the video, uh, please stick around and watch my next one. I'll be uh, going over full coverage of how I made the castle, all the little details, bits and bobs. Um, on that video as well, 
uh, you'll also see, uh, well, I, I, in fact, I'll, I'll quickly show you now. Uh, let me just get into fly mode. Why am I doing that? I don't need to do that. I just thought fly. Okay. All right. So on my next video, right, this obviously is recorded after that entire uh, video, but you'll, you'll notice with these columns, uh, oh, I do need to. All right, so on the on the next video, when I when I'm covering everything, you'll see that I've just quickly changed uh, the width of the pillars and you know did like the border around here very nicely and a, and a perimeter. Okay, so on the next video, it won't look like this. It won't look as fan as fancy as this. So obviously, I've changed it to this now. So uh, just so you know, I have topped it up. Uh, and made it look a tad nice. I'd say it's a whole work in progress. Uh, so definitely uh, give me give me a like, subscribe, uh, and uh, watch my next video where I cover how I made the castle um, and everything else. Uh, well, the castle, I say the Grey Skull uh, dungeon and everything else around, all the little details and things I spent hours doing. All right. So, but anyway, yeah. Uh, definitely, if you like what you see so far, give me a like, subscribe, and uh, in, look forward to my next videos, which will be one covering the, that, and the next one will be covering the uh, huge housey fort fortress entrance to our village that we're creating. All right, because uh, this is taking a lot of hours, and so definitely enjoying my first week in Minecraft. Extremely, extremely fun. I, I can't believe I avoided it for so long. Even though I've known about it so many years, I've just avoided it for so long. But now I understand how how this takes people's years away just because you can. Uh, there's limitless amount of stuff. Um, well, unlimited amount of stuff. Sorry. Well, limitless is the same. I think. Yeah. All right. So yeah. All right. See you guys for the next episode. Goodbye.